Welcome in everybody and uh, I'm introducing a new challenge. It's called the one hour bread challenge. Can you make a decent edible loaf of bread in an hour? Well, we're going to see today. And a big welcome in everybody to the Rancho Kitchen. If you're new to the channel, I am Rosie. I have a variety channel and because I have a variety channel, I can do pretty much anything I feel like doing. And I have done a lot of baking here over the years on the Rancho. And I've always been curious because I've been an advocate that when you make bread, if you want to make like an artisan bread, you want it to be tasty, you really have to ferment your dough overnight. Start early, a little bit of yeast, a wet dough, let it sit overnight, gather some flavor, and then work it the next day and bake it and it becomes, it has a lot of depth of flavor, but can you do a loaf that's quick? I guess we're gonna find out today. And one thing I can tell you though, is uh, we're gonna have to work efficiently and because we need rapidity, quickness, we're gonna have to increase our yeast to really get things firing quickly here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, four cups of First thing we're going to do is to think about a uh, cup and a half of uh, warm water, a uh, teaspoon of uh, sugar, and two tablespoons of yeast. We're going to throw that into the mixture. We're going to let that uh, get foamy, proof that yeast. We're going to throw our flour in. We're going to put a little bit of uh, canola oil in there to just kind of uh, uh, give a little bit more softness to it. But uh, let's get going. We'll talk about it as we go. Now here we go. We're talking about the dollar, the uh, excuse me, the hour loaf of bread. We're going to have to give a bit of time for baking, like 45 minutes. So here goes my cup and a half of warm water here. I'm going to grab my yeast real quick and a little bit of sugar. I like the Red Star yeast that you find in uh, you find in restaurant supply stores, and I keep my yeast under refrigeration. It's always a good thing to have on your shelf, especially during pandemic times. So, yeah, two nice big spoons. We're going to need quite a bit. I'm actually going to add a little bit more. We don't want a bread that's going to taste all yeasty. Yet we need this. Uh, we need this to rise very quickly. We're only going to have one rise here. So, All right, and there goes about a spoon of sugar in there. Let me take my little whisk here, and we'll just kind of work that around. All right, and we'll give it a couple minutes to get working and foamy. In the meantime, I'll get ready to measure out my flour. I'm also going to put some salt up top side too right here my regular kind of salt and i'm gonna also get a little bit of uh i have some uh, canola oil here i'm gonna get ready to pop in there too okay see you in a couple minutes see down there after five minutes that is super foamy so let's get the flour i'm gonna use a bread flour which has higher gluten which has more springiness when you put it into the oven. We've got our flour here. I'm just gonna scoop and shake one. Comes two, two. And here comes number three. Okay, and here comes number four. Right there. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt right there, okay? And I'm also going to throw in a couple tablespoons of the uh, canola oil there, okay? And let's put our dough hook on to our machine here. Got the nice KitchenAid Professional 600. And let's get some fire in the hole. All right, we're already about five minutes in. I've already started my oven here because I'm going to want this heat, even though it's still technically summer. It's a little cooler 
gonna put this on I've got about 450 degrees I'm gonna use the vent heat that comes from the oven here to help the bread rise quicker in other words I'll be sitting I'll be putting it directly into the pan here and then allowing it to rise only a single rise we are literally going to beat this within an inch of its life here we are going to take two minutes once the ingredients are initially combined we should let it rest for about two minutes and then go back to uh, kneading it so we're going to give it a two minute rest right now Started looking good already. You know what? We're about eight minutes into the whole process right now. So we're going to literally need this for about ten more minutes to incorporate the elasticity we need so that this will rise. If we were to put it in now, it'll tear too easily here. No good. Okay, so we got to keep really beating this aggressively. I'm not going to pop a tablespoon and a half of butter in. Let that work in there. Just to give a little bit of extra flavor. That butter will work in very rapidly once it starts to soften. Okay, we're only about the 18 minute mark. So we're going to drop that down now. Look at that, it doesn't even stick. That's beautiful. Get that off of the uh, hook there. And we're going to transfer it over to counter over here okay let's get ready to do that out of the pot here okay beautiful beautiful get all that dough goodness out and now I'm simply gonna shape this pull this into a square I'm really liking the feel of this dough for such a rapid I'm such a rapid uh, kneading and then I'm tucking it under, tucking the ends in, and kind of rolling it out so I get some really nice elasticity here. And it's going to rise really nicely. I'm going to tuck the two ends under, putting it into my pot. Not my pot, but my pan here. Alright. That's it. We're going to spray the top of it. We're going to put a little bit of plastic on and we're going to let this baby rise. Now this is only having a single rise. Normally we would let it rise two times, then punch it down and put it in. Well, we're on the one hour bread today, okay? It's some uh, Pillsbury, Pillsbury Dough Girl. Spray that good. Cover that with the plastic. Let it sit right there for the heat. Good to go. That's like a 20 minute rise. Now, we want to be very careful. That is really beautiful. We don't want to lose any of our volume that we have here. So we're going to handle it carefully. We're about, uh, we're about 45 minutes into the process right now. The oven's up to temperature. I think I'm going to try to lightly brush it with a little bit of egg wash here. I want to try to be uh, really kind of gentle. I don't want to uh, deflate this at all. This you kind of almost have to treat it like it's a souffle, right? That's perfect, but that will do the job. Pop her into the oven. Put that for an initial 20 minutes. I'm going to resist touching or opening the oven because if it deflates, it's going to be very difficult to get that volume back again. Okay, so just resist. 
I'll keep the rest of my egg wash on the side and uh, after about 20 minutes, should have enough internal structure, I might be able to uh, rebrush it again. Have a fun. One hour bread. Oh, I'll say one thing, it smells like bread. So we're gonna take it out and give it a little more of a, should be a little more stable in terms of a loaf, not deflating. We're about 20 minutes in. I think that looks really glorious, doesn't it? And just carefully and quickly just brush this one more time. Give this good color here. Back in she goes, so we're literally at about the 50, 50 minute mark or so. We're still rolling, so I mean obviously we're gonna go over an hour with baking time, but I'm gonna give this another uh, we'll take a look at it in 15 minutes, okay? That'll be our total bake time with what uh, 20 plus 20, I don't know what our bake time. 45 minutes, something like that. Yeah, so you do that. Let's take a peek down here. Man, that's a good looking loaf there, isn't it? Just a few more minutes and we should be good to go. Right, turn our oven off. It's really not too uh, warm today. back to slice it, the one hour bread challenge, unbelievable, unbelievable, and actually uh, with the baking time we're not much over, uh, we're not much over an hour here or so, an hour and five, something like that, so, That's cooled off enough to get a nice slice off, a nice end slice here. Let's go ahead and slice this. Give it a uh, taste test. <laughs> it's pretty doggone good. That's <laughs> okay. good. For one hour, one hour break. Looks pretty amazing. Very soft. The pudding is in the eating though, so uh, a little bit of butter on there. Thanks for watching everybody. <laughs> the one hour bread challenge. I challenge you. See if you can make a nice loaf of bread in one hour. The challenge is on hashtag one hour bread. Your thumbs up are appreciated. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Could be happier. Nice beautiful crumb. <laughs> Thank you everyone.